very emotional because it's a uh, I've been part of this team for seven years. They're a great side. I'm telling you, we don't say that too often. Quality of cricket this team has played over the last five years across all formats. The performances are there for everyone to see. When you perform in that fashion where you go across the globe, across all formats and beat teams, then you know you're part of one great cricket team. And I'm not saying a great cricket team in India, I'm saying one of the great cricket teams in the history of the game. Because uh, if you look at those kind of performance, they don't happen often. You've got to have a bunch of players who are fit, hungry, fearless, have the quality, have the belief, and then to stay fit so that you can play those five years together and uh, go across the globe and perform everywhere. I mean, if you look at, uh, if you want the real highlights, nothing beats Australia, England. You know, we are up in the series. It will be the longest time we'll be up in the series, you know, until next year. I might be commentating on that game, for all you know. <laughs> but I'll keep that one year, you know, it's, it, it's, it feels good. But uh, white ball everywhere. You know, you beat West Indies in the West Indies, you beat in Sri Lanka and Sri Lanka, good team. So all round, it's been fabulous. You know, yes, we are disappointed uh, with the result in the first two games here. And let's be honest, I'm not here to make any, any sort of excuses. We lacked the daring in the second game against New Zealand. I know the toss was important. And as you've seen in the last three games, how important it is. And I do feel it will continue to be uh, important, though not as much now as the weather has cooled down a bit. But still, so it's something for the boys to learn. And uh, they'll get an opportunity again next year. Because not often you have uh, World Cups in 12 months. So hopefully, you know, they'll go and uh, kick some butt there. Player or coach, dressing room, dressing room to wo hi hoga. Lekin mere khayal mein jo mujhe job satisfaction mila hai, ye kaam se, wo bhoot badi hai. Kyunki koi Asian team Australia ko haraya nahi tha 70 saal mein. Humne do baar haraya hai. Aur wo maamuli baat nahi hai, wo to dunia ko pata hai. कोई भी कंट्री से पूछो उनको पता है और फिर इंग्लैंड में परफॉर्मेंस फिर वाइट बॉल का इंप्रूवमेंट स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ फील्डिंग का इंप्रूवमेंट जो वर्ल्ड क्लास प्लेयर्स बने रास्ते पे यू नो अगर देखा जाएगा ये टीम में काफी वर्ल्ड क्लास प्लेयर्स थे अगर आप 2014 में जब मैं लिया जब मैं डायरेक्टर बना टीम का वो सब सेम चीज है भाई डायरेक्टर कोच ये वो तुम लोग अलग-अलग नाम देते हैं मेरे लिए तो वही है तो काफी चीज हो चुके हैं लेकिन अगर आप मुझसे पूछा कि क्या आप चाहते थे वो टाइम पे तो ये टीम से मैं बोले मैं ये बोलूंगा कि ये टीम ने ओवर अचीव किया जो मैंने मेरा सोच था उससे ज्यादा चले गए वो एक ही एक ही चीज मिसिंग है वो है आईसीसी टूर्नामेंट उनको उनको चांस मिलेगा अभी राहुल द्रविड आया कोच यू नो आई गिव हिम आई विश हिम ऑल द लक इज अ इज अ ग्रेट प्लेयर ही इज गॉट द स्टेचर ही इज अ you know done the yards as a coach to further take this team you know over the next few years and raise the bar so i wish him all the luck for that but we actively worked towards this thing we wanted trust in that dressing room that's the only way you can get each other's back we needed communication we needed uh, no finger pointing you know at each other we needed the word i to be thrown into the dustbin and the word we coming in and created a a culture that had to be obeyed and followed and uh, with virat leading the way i mean he's been one of the great ambassadors for the games especially when you look at red ball cricket the way he's embraced it and it's allowed other players in the team to follow suit you know you got to give uh, credit where it's due so it's a it's a team culture uh, which was impressed upon the team to follow and they followed it to the hilt you know they played fearless cricket around the globe and uh, one thing i would say this is not an excuse but this is a fact when you are 6 months in a bubble this team there are a lot of players in this team who play all three formats of the game and in the last 24 months they've been home for 25 days i don't care who you are if your name is bradman if you are in a bubble as well your average will come down because you're human 
This is not where something you just put petrol in the backside and then expect the guy to move on, you know, it, in uh, overdrive. It doesn't happen that way. So I think it's tough times. That's why I say in life, it's not what you accomplish. That was, that's not my job, first of all. It was already done. That is, that is something I'm sure the uh, administrator is not just uh, from India, from BCCI, you know, it's the others around the globe who will uh, also be looking at it to, you know, before big tournaments to ensure that there is a, a little bit of gap so that the guys are mentally fresh and uh, ready to play. I wouldn't know how to answer that. For me, everything is important. You know, if you're, if you're, if you're playing a big tournament, a big series, you play to win. So it's not happened this time. It's, uh, but it will happen another time for this team. They're, they're far too talented not to, uh, you know, get something going or get something in big trophy in the hand soon. You know, just like they did in Australia twice. They're up in England now. They're, the way they played white ball cricket in bilateral series. So somewhere down the line, you know, things should go their way. The rub of the green should go their way. I think it's uh, not such a bad thing because of the bubble and because of the amount of cricket being played. You, you, the players need to be rotated around and given the space they need to uh, spend some time with their families, see their parents. Because like I say, when, when a guy doesn't go home for six months, he might have his family with him. But if he's got parents and other family and you don't get a chance to see them, it, uh, it's not easy at all. So I think uh, it's not such a bad thing. And uh, I think in Rohit, you've got a very uh, uh, capable guy. He's, uh, he's won so many IPLs. He's the vice captain of this side. He's ready in the wings, uh, you know, to take that job. And uh, as far as the T20 team goes, I think we'll always have a strong team. We might have not won a, 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 this World Cup, but I, I think going forward, you'll continue to have a very strong team because the IPL throws a lot of young players, you know, into the mix. And, uh, you know, Rahul will have his own ideas on how to take this team forward. And uh, I see it still being a very good team. You can... Uh, the the cricket itinerary is so packed that you can do only one thing at a time. So at least they played some T20 cricket in the IPL. I just wish the gap was a little more. That's it. I don't think anything, I don't look at the missing parts. I look at the part, there were, there were 10 missing parts when I took the job. Now there are only two. So that someone, or one, so that someone else can fill in the future. I'm happy with the nine I got. You know, I would have been very disappointed if I'd filled only two parts and eight were vacant. Very emotional because it's a, uh, I've been part of this team for seven years. They're a great side. I'm telling you, you don't say that too often. It's one of the great sides to have played, you know, cricket at the highest level in the history of the game. When you look all around. So let's not take anything away from that. So I, and for me to be part of that journey with the boys and for the boys to respond and raise the bar in that fashion, you know, leaves you going from the dressing room emotional, but a very proud man.